Hello there, I'm Manila Chan. You're watching In Question, broadcasting live from the national headquarters of RT America in Washington, D.C. It's time to boost your news IQ. We begin this hour with the latest out of the high seas. An Iranian super tanker detained in Gibraltar last month is out on its way after a court in the British territory rejected a request from Washington to formally seize the vessel for allegedly violating international sanctions. RT correspondent Saya Tavinger is following the story. She joins us with more. That's right. The Iranian vessel had been detained for a month in the British Overseas Territory. The Grace One, now renamed Adrian Daria One, was intercepted by British Royal Marines on July 4th for allegedly carrying $130 million worth of crude oil to Syria. And as of today, the tanker was last seen in waters off Gibraltar before it slowly went into the Mediterranean Sea towards a narrow stretch of international waters separating Morocco and the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. Now, interestingly enough, Gibraltar authorities rejected an 11th hour attempt by the U.S. to receive the oil tanker, arguing that EU regulations are less strict than U.S. sanctions on Iran, which means that EU cannot detain the Iranian tanker just because it was exporting crude oil. Also, unsealed court documents show that Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard were the ship's true owners through a network of front companies. And authorities in Gibraltar announced that unlike the U.S., the Iran's Revolutionary Guards are not designated a terrorist organization under EU or UK laws. And in a statement, Gibraltar's government said that the ship would be free to go as U.S. sanctions on Iran had no equivalent in the United Kingdom or the rest of the European Union. Now, Iran's foreign minister also announced today that he was glad the ordeal surrounding the tanker release was over and accused the U.S. of trying to bully others from purchasing Iranian oil through sanctions and legal actions. Iranian oil is not sanctioned by any entity and Iran is not subjected to European decisions and Europe does not seek even to uh, impose its uh, decisions on non-EU members. Because of U.S. sanctions, uh, we cannot be very transparent with the destination of our oil because the United States illegally tries to bully others from purchasing our oil. So they will make the necessary decision based on uh, the exigencies of the time uh, about where we can impact sell that oil. And as of today, it is not clear why the vessel is heading into the Mediterranean Sea towards Greece as Zarif refused to shed further light on the ship's journey. But British authorities did say that they've been assured by Iran that the tanker would not unload its cargo, oil cargo, in Syria. But Iranian officials have warned the U.S. to leave the tanker alone and that any further attempt by the U.S. to attempt to seize the tanker would constitute a threat threat against free shipping and would have heavy consequences. Now, the U.S. is currently embarked on a campaign to isolate Iran, including imposing hard sanctions specifically on Iran's oil exports, which is Iran's lifeline. So I'm assuming that the U.S. is not too happy about this tanker setting sail. Manila, back to you. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.